Dear friends, welcome to my video. In this video, we will see how to create your own snipping tool Android app which can take a part of the screenshot. So let's begin. We will create a new project, probably an empty one and name this snipping tool for screenshot. Click finish and wait for the environment to load. The environment is still loading. In the meantime, I can show you. I already created a, another tutorial which shows how to take the screenshot in our Android app. So I'll be using the uh, code from this one more or less because the only difference is this will take the screenshot of the whole screen or the whole view. And in this, uh, in today's uh, app, we'll take a part of it. We'll create a snipping tool. So we'll see how we can modify this code itself to take that. So, and I'll post this link in my description as well, uh, so that you can refer to this page for the uh, complete code of the screenshot. I think my environment has come up. I will run this app in an emulator also in parallel, because sometimes it takes a while to load the emulator. And uh, before I do anything, let me go to my layout. And in the text view, the default one, I will give it some ID. Most likely, I'll give the same ID which will match the previous one, and I'll increase the size so that it's more clearly visible. And I'll include a button which will trigger the capture. So let me do one by one. Uh, I'll also change from from Hello World to my Programmer World, and increase this. I'll increase the size of the text box over here a little bit and yeah looks good and I'll also increase the size of the text so from 14 to most likely I'll do it 20 perfect so once we have done it then we will include a button so now we'll add a button and uh, we can take this button from here. So we'll use the on click operation of this button as a trigger to take my snipping uh, or the part. And in this button probably I'll name it or I'll go to my code insert and like to see what the name I've given. Okay, I think I gave the name as button screenshot. But I'll take here snipping take is take this of the snipping uh, capture yeah so the name doesn't matter anyway so it's just for our reference and I think from layout perspective it's done uh, I'll go back to the Java code and here or before that most likely I'll go to the manifest file in fact and in the manifest file we'll have to define the permissions required from the user. So I can go back to my published code itself and try to copy paste the lines which we require. So we require these two stories, uh, these two permissions for the stories, read and write. So I'll just come back here quickly and give these permissions. Now go back to the Java code. And for Java code also, I can copy paste the part of the code, most of the stuff. So I can raise a method and then yeah. So I'll just copy paste most likely first the on, on create. Uh, method so control c and i think i was expecting this kind of error so just import the required classes and that's all that for text view i think it's a class variable which i have defined earlier so i'll just make it similar over here on the right hand side we can see our uh, environment is load up uh, the button is not to come i think because we triggered the app just before we added the button so that's right or i can uh, yeah and apart from this, I will also need this particular method, button screenshot here. So with this, I will be completing uh, the previous part where it captures the complete screenshot. I didn't redo because uh, I just want to focus how to take a snippet in this particular uh, video. So I like to focus over here. Yeah, so just click Alt Enter and it will uh, include all the import, all the required classes. Uh, in this button screenshot, I most likely I can go back to my layout and associate it with the on-click attribute here. 
so that whenever this button is clicked this particular method is called over here perfect so in terms of changes we don't have to do lots of changes so uh, if if you have seen my previous video this code will capture the complete screenshot and the reason for that is this line number 43 here we take the width of the complete view and just put it on the bitmap so what you have to do is here we have to modify this line basically to take only the part of the snippet which the user has entered so before that i will like to create another uh, method which will capture the user entered part so that method is called on touch event on touch event yeah so this is an override this is a default method which given provided by the the system so we'll be using this on touch event and here the motion events will capture it to capture our dimension so before i capture dimension i'll also quickly create class variables uh, of integer or probably float type because i think the return uh, the touch point of the user on the screen will be in the float uh, in the float data type and i'll name it as float a start fix uh, this is the start dimension so say for example a user uh, captures from here to here so this the first one will be the start and the last one will be the uh, end so a start x so let me copy paste and the second three so start x and a start y and so i need no space and what else then i can also have the end so i will just have instead of start i will have something called as end x and end y yeah so these are the four arguments which we'll need we can initialize it with something like a minus one most likely all these four variables because minus one will never be an output because the our in in our screen when the user moves his hand for touching the screen it will be at least zero and nothing else so minus one will be our uh, initial values and here in this on touch event what we can do is we can check if the motion event if the event hit action this is equal to motion event something called as yeah uh, so there are lots of actions which it gives so first let me complete only motion event and let's see what are the actions we have so we have action something called as up button release down and all those things so i think i can go for down because whenever the user starts he will start somewhere uh, by going towards a down side so that will be my starting point so the moment it starts that will be my starting point so i'll put as not, not as in but uh, as a start x and i will capture the point from the event dot get x and i'll also capture the y point the on the uh, the y coordinates start y event dot get y perfect so similarly once we have done this what we can do is we can capture the end points and for that what we can do is we can check the action whether it's equal to motion event and probably action up up means no it's a stop somewhere and then yeah so it will capture the end points and for the end points what i can do is no 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 event dot critics and i think in ny i forgot to give underscore and i will not i will prefer to give an underscore to maintain the homogeneity so i will change this variable come back here yeah and here event dot get y so assuming my all these four coordinates are captured correctly then in this button in screenshot we can take it but before that most likely i will do a check also here that whether uh, my all the four variables which is basically a start x okay so i'll check other way if this is equal to minus one which is basically my initial values or start y which is equal to minus one or any of these things if it's equal to minus one that means the value has not been captured correctly so i'm just doing a putting a failed safe check and in y and 
then this should be also equal to minus 1. So if any of these conditions are true, then most likely we should return and but I will also do one thing, I will print something on my text view so that the user knows what has gone wrong and the dimensions are okay dimensions not captured try again yeah i think i don't need article the dimensions yeah dimensions not captured try again simple probably try again i can give it in a new line yeah like this perfect okay so assuming that everything is fine uh, all these four coordinates are have proper dimensions then if we come here uh, in the code we'll keep this part of the code as it is because bit, bitmap will capture the complete uh, uh, image over here in the canvas using this line number 72 and before line number 23 before drawing it on a or putting it on a file what we'll do is we'll create another bitmap bitmap no. and i can make it as a snippet the part of the snippet which the user has entered and now i will use this the previously created bitmap bitmap dot create bitmap and here if you notice i will use this uh, yeah this particular function or uh, method where i will take the source bitmap and then i will put the four arguments the starting point and the width and the height so i will use this one and the source uh, bitmap will be of course the previously created one and then the, my starting point will be float a start x but i think uh, we can't uh, take the float in the bitmap so we'll round it off to the nearest integer so what we'll do is we'll just use the math dot round method perfect and then we'll use the i I'll, i think i'll copy this just control c control v this will be for my y coordinate the starting point and what else i think i missed out underscore and what else so and then the other two arguments will be the width and the height so for the width and the height i can uh, uh, do a subtraction here float int x minus start x and float int y minus start y Yeah, so that's all. I think there's some spelling mistake in the variable, although it doesn't matter, but it's good to have it correct. So, once we have it, this variable, then what we have to do is we have to use this variable to print on our file screenshot, which we are doing, I think, somewhere over here. And yeah, so this will take care. Uh, so, we'll get the complete bitmap here of the complete screen. <coughs> and in this line number 74, we'll take a part of it. And then in line number 86 and 87, we'll write it in the this file what we are creating over here so that's all i will run this app or i will rerun this app and see how it comes up in the emulator so it's asking me to allow the access for screenshot to take photos and media okay click allow and before i take the screenshot let me quickly go to the my uh, file manager where i'll show where we can find the files which will get uh, updated so the files for this particular app i think will get uh, stored somewhere in this uh, our internal mem memory android data and here you'll get a list of the apps over here so i think this is my app No, this is my some other app. So the app is still not created. So I think once we capture it, it will come up. So I'll go back to my app now. And capture a part of the screen. So first I'll move the screen, uh, my mouse so that all these four variables are captured. So I'll move it from say from here to here. I'm just capturing this middle part. And now if I click here, it says success. So let me go back to my file manager now and see what so yeah this new folder has come up which is my this particular uh, folder for this particular app and in the pictures is what we are storing and perfect so if you notice we just moved our cursor so, so somewhere start of this button and end of this uh, text uh, box and that's what it's captured 
I, so how we can capture only the button here so if I go back and say for example if I go back to my app I will rerun this and I will just so now I have started from here and ended here and I click my button again if I go back to my folder a new file has come up and if I see only the button has been captured no, I will capture only the half of the button and see if it comes or not. So I go back to my app and just capture half of the button. So I ended here, I started here and I click again. So I think it's again successful. I go back, see only half of my button is captured. Probably I can try to capture something more. I can try to capture the top part and see how it comes up no so top part is a part is not a part of the view so it didn't happen for some reason so i'll go back and i'll capture it probably from somewhere here till here let me see what it happens it still says success i come back here come to the this one this still showing button so if i go back to my app again most likely okay let me do one thing let me just capture the second half of the capture this time a second half of the button and if i go here Perfect. So it's it's worth you know. Uh, it just captured the second half of the button. So that's all. <clears throat> that's all. I just wanted to show you how easy it is. Uh, that you have to just take the dimensions of the user touch event, and then use this dimensions, the x and y coordinates, to truncate or the trim our uh, bitmap for that particular part, and then rewrite it into the file as we have done in the last one. So that's all. I hope this video is useful to you. If you have any questions or suggestions, then please put in the comment section. And if you like this video, then please subscribe to my channel. Thank you and have a nice day. Bye.